Welcome back to Making Machines. On today's episode, we're going to be getting my wire harness in and seeing about getting the truck fired up for the first time in 20 years. That's if the motor actually will run in it, because it was disassembled when I got it. I have no idea if it's going to run around on at all. Anyways, so this here is the original wire harness out of that truck. Really wasn't too bad. They only cut it up with the part or for the ignition switch. But the finish left all the connectors, but this is for the headlights here. See, it's kind of melted. And then my little fuse, the old glass style fuses. So I'm getting rid of that, all that old school stuff. This all ran out through the, under the dash. This is the wire harness I'm putting in. So you can see, big difference. I bought this wire harness from Brothers Trucks. Got the power point because it has all the extra fuse slots in it. So if you ever want to add, you know, cruise control, you know, if you want to put a radio in it, power seats, any fancy stuff like that, power windows. You know, I'm already pre-set up. Now I just gotta run the wires the rest of the way and plug it in. But that's why I went with that. Putting in, I'm gonna have to do some modifications. So this right here is where the old one sat, and which I'm gonna put my new one in at. Some of the drill two holes for it, like this, straight to the firewall, bolt them through, and that will bolt in my new fuse box. And then I'll run all my wires and everything for it, and plug everything, hook everything out. So yeah. Okay. So you see here, I got my new fuse box mounted in. I'm trying to get all my wires ran throughout the dash. Going where they all need to go, as that is a very long and tedious process. I don't think I'm going to be showing most of this, so I'll give you a little updates here and there throughout the video as I'm going along, but I'm going to be getting this done and I'll pop on the camera every now and then and give little updates. See how it goes from this mess to a perfectly look good looking harness. Alrighty then, we'll get back on it. Alright, so I got my wiring in. Got all wired up for the most part. And, well, I got a little excited when I finished up the wiring and tried starting it. So I found out my old starter was bad, so I got a new one. And I got a new fuel pump on it too. I got my temporary fueling system right down there just to see if she runs. Now it's time to see if this baby starts. It runs and idles. So let's see what she does. Editing Cody here. Apparently, I did not record any wiring harness updates. So I will show the wiring harness in the next video. My apologies. But for now, enjoy the first start in 20 years as accompanied by the number one attending member, the professional, with the assist to start. So thank you and my apologies. Ready? Clear. Terrible. Yeah, it is. I thought you mixed it with Gatorade. Why is it red? <laughs> That's brown. That's not what the fuel was. Gatorade's got what cars crave, Coach. Electrites. <laughs> it's not like Chevy eating this electrolytes. <laughs>
No. It is? Okay. Plug. Pull the paint. Holding. Ready? I also got a vacuum leak. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Bill leaks no bueno. Here I am rebuilding the carburetor, just pre-assembling, getting new gaskets on it, and to stop the to stop the water fountain fuel we did had. So I'll go through a quick few little clips of that and on to the next. Okay, so as you saw, we got a kind of target running. You notice the carburetor was leaking really bad, spraying fuel out of the top of there. So I got the carb off. You saw that I rebuilt it, put it all up. From there, I got my new brake line ran for my new brake. So I took out the single and put in a double, a dual, for safety, because it's going to be a daily. And then you see that my fuel is spraying out the top. That was because well, aftermarket fuel pump, higher fuel pressure than what that's rated for. So I had to put in a pressure regulator. I got both my radiator hoses in. Got some fancy chrome ones. Then you go to Valhalla. Chrome and shiny. There you go. Oh, you see? For once I got it, it's not this stage. I'm ready to run it for a long, for a longer period of time as soon as I get my fittings for my brakes. Get those, make sure those all work. I'm ready to start it again and actually run it. And then I can do all the timing, make sure it heats up, make sure there's no exhaust. I'm gonna make sure nothing else is actually wrong with the truck, engine or anything like that. So I'll be doing that next video because I ran out of parts for the day and I'm not going to have more done tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment. That greatly appreciated and, and it really helps out my channel if you do. So thank you again for watching and see you next time when we start driving.